Welcome back, students. This is Lesson 28, Session 2. We are on page 583 in our Volume 2 math book. So go ahead and turn to that page. We are learning about solving problems about time. Let's get started. Sadie spends an hour and a half or one and a half hours doing homework. She plays outside for 20 minutes and practices the piano for a quarter of an hour. How many more minutes does Sadie spend doing homework than practicing the piano and playing outside? Okay, so there's a few things here that we need to talk about before we get started. The first thing is this right here. One and a half hours doing homework. So one means whole. So that's a whole hour. A whole hour is the same thing as 60 minutes. A half is half an hour, so that's the same thing as 30 minutes. So 60 minutes plus 30 minutes is 90 minutes doing homework. Okay, then it says she plays outside for 20 minutes. and practices the piano for a quarter of an hour. If you think about a dollar bill, how much is a quarter? It's 25 cents, that means it's one fourth. So if you think about time, what is one fourth of a clock? It, what is a quarter of it? What's one fourth of it? So if you break it up into fourths, or if you think about a circle, if you break it up into a fourth, so if I'm going to think about a clock and I break it up into fourths, that means I would cover this much of a clock. Well, this would be a 12 on a clock and this would be a 3. If I think about a 3, what does a 3 represent on a clock? It represents 15. So that means it's talking about 15 minutes when it's talking about a quarter of an hour. So that means she practiced the piano for... 15 minutes for the piano, okay? So it says, how many more minutes does Sadie spend doing homework than practicing the piano or playing outside, okay? So first we figured out how many minutes each of these represented. And it says, how many more minutes did she spend doing homework? Well, we know she spent 90 minutes doing her homework Okay, and then it says that she spent piano and playing outside. So piano was 15 minutes, playing outside was 20 minutes. So let's add those two together and we get 35. So now we need to do 90 minus 35. So 55 minutes more. She spent 55 minutes more doing homework than playing the piano or playing outside. Okay, let's go ahead and turn to the next page and look at a model of this. So on this, they made a model to show... Um, the subtraction, okay? So here they showed the 90 minutes that was spent doing homework right here. And then they showed, um, they kind of made a bar model for the homework, but then they were showing that they took away 20 minutes and 15 minutes because that they wanted to know how much more. So they used the bar model to show that they took away. So if we were going to make an equation, it was kind of the same thing. And actually, look, they showed here. So we started with the 90, and we did the 20 plus 15 plus the homework. Or you could have rewrote this kind of like the problems we did in the previous one. And you could have done H equals 90 minus 20 plus 15. And you could have solved it like this. So then you had 35, so 90 minus 35, and then you still would have gotten H equals 
55 for that answer. We don't need to do um, 585 because it's going over the same information. Let's go ahead and turn to page 586. All right, at the top here, number seven. Coach Douglas has a soccer practice from 4 to 5.15 p.m. The team spends 10 minutes stretching and half of an hour passing the ball. The team spends the rest of the time on skill drills. How many minutes does the team spend on skill drills? Use the number line to help solve the problem. Show your work. One hour equals 60 minutes. Okay. So we have here from 4 to 5.15 p.m. That means it lasted for an hour and 15 minutes because 4 to 5 would be 60 minutes and then there's an extra 15 minutes. Okay, it says the team spends 10 minutes stretching. So that means from 4 to 4.10 stretching. Okay. So that's when we would end. And then it says that they spend half an hour. What's half of an hour? Half is, an hour is 60 minutes, so half of that would be 30. Passing the ball. So what's 410 plus 30 more minutes? So 10, 20, 30, 20, 30, 40. So for 10 to 440, passing the ball, okay, the team spends the rest of the time on skill drills. So this is skill drills. And we said we stopped at 440 here, okay? This is PM. So from 440 to 515, so let's count. 440, 450, 5. Okay, so we'll say this is 5. So that's 20 minutes. So 5, 505, 510, 515. So 20 minutes plus 15 minutes. So that's 35 more minutes from here to here. Oh, I'm sorry. From here to here, that's 35 minutes. So they spend 35 minutes. Nope, that's right. From here to here, that's 35 minutes. I shouldn't have put that there. That'll probably confuse us. So 35 minutes on skill drills. Trevor has one hour, 15 minutes, so 60 plus 15, which equals 75, to practice for the school play. This is three times as long as it takes him to finish his homework. How long does it take Trevor to finish his homework. Ooh. Okay. So since it says three times as long, that tells us that this is a division problem. So that means that we need to do 75 divided by three. Okay. So if we have 75 and we're dividing it by three, three goes into seven. Two times, three times two is six. Subtract and we have one left. Bring down our five. Three times five is 15. There's zero left. That means 25 minutes. Kwame spends three fourths of an hour. Okay, again, think about a clock. If you divide a clock into fourths and you shade one, two, three parts of it and you stop right here, that's on the 
9. What number represents where the 9 is? It's 45 minutes. Okay? So he spends 45 minutes of an hour riding his bike in all. In all. He spends one-fourth of an hour, so where does the one-fourth stop? At the three, which means 15 minutes of an hour biking to the lake, 10 minutes biking around the lake, and the rest of the time biking home. How many minutes does he spend biking home? Okay, so he spent 45 minutes. He spent 15 to the lake, 10 around the lake, how long home? Okay, so home equals 45 minus 15 plus 10. 15 plus 10 is 25. So 45 minus 25 is 0, 2. So he spends 20 minutes biking home. Okay. Let's go to the next page. On page 587, problem number one, complete the labels on the bar model to represent the example, which is up here. Amy has one hour to do the activities. She talks on the phone for five minutes. Okay, so here's a five. She rides her bike for 15 minutes. She plays a game with her brother for 25 minutes. How much time does Amy have left to spend painting the picture? She has 60 minutes to do her activities. Okay, so right here we have 60, 5, 15, and 25. Here's the time that she has left to paint her picture. Look at the bar model in problem one. What does P represent? Well, it says that, it says that right here, how much time does Amy have left to paint her picture? So it represents time Amy has left to paint her picture. Okay. Milo, Milo, Milo visits an amusement park for three hours. He goes on rides for 50 minutes, plays carnival games for 40 minutes, and eats food for 30 minutes. He spends the rest of the time waiting in lines. How much time does Milo wa spend waiting in lines? Write and solve an equation to find the answer. We know that there's 60 minutes in one hour. So 6 times 3 is 18, and we add our 0, so he spends 180 minutes at the amusement park. So now let's add the minutes that he does activities. He spends... 50 minutes playing carnival games, 40 minutes eating food, and 30 minutes, um, oh, 50 minutes going on rides, 40 minutes on carnival games, and 30 minutes eating food. So 5 plus 4 is 9, 10, 11, 12, so 120 minutes. So our equation is 180 minus 120. So it is 60 minutes waiting in lines. Page 588. Suki watches a movie and eats a snack afterward. The movie starts at 7.15 p.m. and is one and one half hours long. Okay, so one hour is 60 minutes, one half is 30 minutes, okay? Suki finished her snack at 9, 10 p.m. How long does Suki spend eating a snack? Use the number line to help solve the problem. Show your work, okay? Movie starts, finishes snack at 9, 10. Okay, so 
movie starts at 7.50 and eats a snack after the movie. Okay. Ooh. So, we've got to see how long the movie lasts because she didn't start her snack until after the movie. Okay. So, if the movie started at 7.15, it lasted an hour and 30 minutes. So, we know that it would definitely go until at least... So we're going to say this is 8.15 because that's one hour, but then it went for another 30 minutes. So if we add 30 to 45, that would be 8.45. So this is when the movie ends. So she ate her snack from 8.45 to 9.10. 8.45 to 9 is 15 minutes. So 15 minutes... Plus 9 to 9.10 is 10 minutes. So that means she took 25 minutes to eat her snack. Number five. One of the fastest times for a 1,500 re meter race is 3 minutes and 34 seconds. How many seconds is this time? Okay. Okay. Three minutes is 60 plus 60 plus 60. Six plus six is 12, plus six more is 18. Add my zero, so it's 180 seconds, or you can do six times three and add a zero, plus 34 more for this right here. <coughs> 0 plus 4 is 4, 8, 9, 10, 11. So it's 214 seconds. Bennett spends four hours at school today. He attends three 70-minute classes. There is a five-minute break between classes. Then he eats lunch before going home. How long does Bennett spend eating lunch? Okay. Right, here's four hours, so 60 times four, that's 240 minutes. Okay, so here's 70, three of them, 70, 70. He has a five minute break in between, so one, two, five, Five, and then he has lunch. Okay? So, 70 plus 70 plus 70 plus 5 plus 5. So, let's add that this way. Seven, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. So two hundred and twenty. So we've got to do two forty minus two twenty equals twenty minutes for lunch. That is it for today's session. I will see you back for the next one.